Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Unbiased Selection Predictions video, rather. Um, but today we're going to be talking about the great state of Ohio, uh, and latest polls have been very, very good for Joe Biden. Uh, and so we're going to talk first about the, the history of Ohio. So in 2016, Hillary Clinton ended up losing Ohio by eight points, uh, and she lost a lot of counties that had hit, uh, been, you know, swing counties or historically Democratic counties that went safe Republican. Uh, or went to dem to uh, uh, to um, D Donald Trump, excuse me. So, in two thousand and eight, uh, which was the first year the Democrat has won Ohio in um, in the two thousands. So Barack Obama he ended up winning the state of Ohio by uh, basically three point five percent, which is in the lean column. But he won a lot of these counties up here. And he, he lost some of them in 2012, as you can see uh, up here. He lost a little ground, but he still won Ohio. And then just look at the shift. Okay, so look at this county map in Ohio, uh, and then compare it to 2016. Hillary Clinton got decimated in these northern counties that are uh, blue-collar working counties. And that's how Donald Trump won Ohio. And it's how he won a lot of other states like Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Indiana, Iowa. <coughs> well, not really Iowa, but Pennsylvania, too. So all these states the working class went overwhelmingly for Trump. So, uh, that is unlikely to happen again. Now, <clears throat> Hillary Clinton was a horrible candidate for the working class. She made no effort to reach out to these people, or Donald Trump did the exact opposite. But in 2020, this, both of these candidates are making great efforts to reach out to these, uh, voters. So, yeah, and, uh, you know, Donald Trump is the favorite to win Ohio. And, you know, I agree with that statement. I think that if you're, uh, placing your bet on who's going to win the state of Ohio, <clears throat> um, you know, Donald Trump should be the favorite, but Biden has a 4 in 10 chance, roughly, of winning the state, and, and that's, again, uh, nothing to laugh at. <clears throat> now, Donald Trump, uh, you know, before the debate on September 22nd, you know, he had a 68% chance of winning. That fell literally the next day to 57%, like 11 points, literally. Uh, and then, <clears throat> as the debate rolled around on, on the 29th, uh, Donald Trump had a 60% chance at winning it, and that went down a little bit. So it's essentially staying fairly stable, but Biden is gaining ground a little bit. So uh, th this race has been fairly stable, though. I mean, of course, it fluctuated in March. You know, we had 75% chance of Trump winning, then it went down to the 60s, then it went, you know, um, to actually the, uh, you know, the, the low 50s, the middle 50s. Uh, on August 15th, which I think was Biden's high point in Ohio. He had a 44.3% chance of winning the state. But um, <clears throat> it's it, it's gone back to Trump camp, and I do agree that it should be in Trump camp. But <clears throat> the polling averages, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, put uh, Joe Biden ahead. And, you know, the recent polls, RCP, which does a great job of, of, of weighting these polls, Biden, they have uh, Biden ahead by 3.3. Uh, Fox News put just uh, released a poll sampling. Uh, nearly a thousand likely voters, Biden by five, Quinnipiac Biden by one, and, and Rasmussen reports, which is a right-leaning pollster, as is Fox News, by the way. Um, they put Biden up by four. So all the polling data, though, you know, there have been some polls that have put Trump ahead, but, you know, it's kind of the opposite of what we saw in 2016. You know, Hillary Clinton was not the favorite to win Ohio, and at this point in time, on October 2nd, uh, Joe Biden, or Donald Trump was ahead by uh, three and a half points. Uh, he is now losing by 3.3, so that's essentially a, a, a shift mirrored, so you have, um, of course, the polls didn't underestimate Trump here, but that's still nothing to sneeze at. Again, they've adjusted their methods, they've changed a lot of things, and in 2016, it's always, it's entirely possible that 2016 was just a fluke election and that the polls were wrong, because polls have, have previously been accurate. So, state of Ohio, uh, Donald Trump did have the lead there on October 2nd, um, you know, so... That's important to look at, and now he's losing as of October 2nd. But I want to talk about some other um, effects. You know, 538 is actually less generous to uh, Biden than RCB which was, which is surprising because 538 does generally, um, is generally more generous to, to the Democrats than uh, 538, but in this case, it's not. So um, <clears throat> Joe Biden is uh, currently the favorite to win Ohio, according to 538, but you know, it's interesting because uh, this is one of the models that says Biden is the favorite in Ohio. RCP does, uh, I mean, the polling says that, but that's not always the same thing. And J JHK does believe uh, that Biden is uh, the favorite to win, or the favorite to lose Ohio. 
Uh, although there is one other model, the lean toss-up model, which does think that uh, Biden is the favorite in Ohio. But again, I disagree with that. I don't believe that. But, you know, the forecast has changed. I mean, certainly at one point, Trump had a 62% chance at winning. Uh, but now it, it's essentially down to uh, 46. So that's uh, really not uh, looking good for him. And, you know, <clears throat> Ohio, I do easily think, could... Um, go to Biden, and, and that's why I'm making a video talking about uh, Ohio, because, you know, o Ohio's not really one of those states that you'd expect to be a swing state, I mean, you have a lot of white, non-college-educated voters there, and sure, there, there is a, a large block of, of black uh, voters, but those, uh, they don't have super high turnout numbers, so you'd think that, you know, well, Donald Trump should be the easy favorite in Ohio, which he is, but still, Joe Biden is making a play for Ohio, he's forcing Trump to pivot money from other states like Arizona, and instead, uh, put them in Ohio, which is not uh, exactly a great sign for him. Uh, but, you know, this is interesting. I was reading this article, and, and I'm not going to just read it out to you because that would take way too long. It would be a waste of your time, but I'll put the link in uh, the, the comment section. So, you know, <clears throat> this is, I think, interesting for you all to read. But I want to talk about one more thing, it's Governor John Kasich. Now, for those of you who don't remember, John Kasich ran for president in 2016. He ended up losing the Republican primary, came in third place in terms of delegates. Uh, no, no, he came in fourth, actually, but he dropped out second to last, uh, obviously behind Donald Trump, who technically never dropped out. But, um, you know, John Kasich really... Uh, he, he, John Kasich won election with 66% of the vote. I mean, you can literally look up uh, 2014 o Ohio gubernatorial election. John Kasich got 66% of the vote. He beat Ed Fitzgerald. Yeah, 64% uh, of the vote. So Kasich won here, and he got nearly 2 million votes, basically twice as much as his uh, Democratic challenger, Ed Fitzgerald, did. So Kasich has been very popular for a while. Of course, Ted Strickland... Uh, with the former governor, Kasich beat Strickland, um, <clears throat> and, but, you know, but he became popular, and he became known as a moderate Republican, who, uh, got a lot of support, as you can see, from the, the Democratic Party, he got a lot of Democratic voters on board, uh, and a lot of those voters switched to Trump, so, anyways, John Kasich did endorse Biden, he spoke at the Democratic National Convention, I don't know why that came up, but, you know, that's certainly, you know, Kasich endorsing Biden is interesting, because, if you have all the Kasich voters voting for him in Ohio, he wins. Now, I don't think that's going to happen. I think that's wishful thinking for the Democratic Party if they're relying on Kasich voters to uh, get them over the top. So, yeah. But I just wanted to talk about the state of Ohio, why it could flip to Joe Biden, and why I think that, you know, people... I came into 2020 viewing Ohio as a red state, or at least a leaning red state. At this point, I'd say it's a pure toss-up. I'm going to... Um, <clears throat> you know, f f uh, predict the election, I think, this weekend, um, by the way, happy Friday, by the way, um, so, you know, Ohio, we're, we're gonna spend a lot of time talking about that, and we're gonna talk a lot of politics, you know, in our next prediction, so, and guys, thanks for watching this video, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, uh, uh, you know, just comment down below what you think, do you think Biden can win Ohio? I think he can, but I think he's not the favorite, so what do you guys think? Uh, and again, look for the pinned comment where I uh, give the link to this article, which is actually really interesting. So, again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.